Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our daily energy and advice reading. I hope you're doing well. Um, the weekly video has been posted, so go check that out if you haven't already. And remember to check all your signs. Private reading information is always in the description box below of, an, of any video I post. Um, and also check out the specials if you haven't done so already, also in the description box below. So let's see what the daily energy is for us. What are we dealing with? What we need to know for our highest good. Okay, so that is the tarot. And from the oracle, what do we need to know for our highest good to clarify the daily energy? line them up here okay all right so first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation we have the five of cups and the five of cups is an energy of loss sorrow disappointment depression mourning okay it's, it's not pleasant energy in today's energy we have temperance and temperance is an energy of healing, of finding our balance once again after this time of sorrow and this time of loss. It's essentially a card that talks about us learning to adapt and be at peace no matter what the circumstances. Now with the Five of Cups, it can also talk about reconciliation of some sort, and that's not just romantic, okay? It's making peace, it's reconciling, because with the Five of Cups, you always have these two cups that are still standing, saying, you know, that not all is lost, whether that is with that particular situation, not all is lost, or in that kind of situation, does that make sense? So for example, this was the loss of a job, either there was still a door open for you to go back to the company, or... There was a loss of a job, however, not all is lost in that if you look around, you're going to find another one. Okay, so it's that kind of scenario. And with the Temperance card, it can talk about meeting in the middle, reconciling, making peace, healing individually or healing as a couple or any other type of relationship this could be talking about. Where is it headed? Hmm, Ten of Cups. So I feel like, yes, this can be reconciliation energy happening at this time. Remember, Mercury is retrograde, so a lot of things and people and situations and different types of conversations, excuse me, are going to be coming back around for the purpose of healing, okay? Now, that means healing and closure, healing and release, or healing and coming back together. It'll be different for everyone. But we do have the energy of making peace, of reconciling, of coming together. And it could be to do with family. It could be within ourselves where we finally feel like, okay, I, I, I'm okay now. I'm, a, I'm in balance. I know what I'm doing. I can adapt to any situation. If I survive this, I can survive anything. And that gives me a sense of peace and happiness. Does that make sense? Oracle energy. We have Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive, number 60. So again, a focus on relationships, a focus on love, love of all kinds. It's also an energy of t just going deeper with something. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, number 57. There we go. Good job, camera. Um, so yeah, for some of us, this is a very much a personal path, a personal journey where we're coming into balance we are healing you wake up one day and you just feel different like better like you're not longing or mourning or grieving something right and it took a long time with the temperance card to get here but we're finally here and once we have this newfound stability within ourselves nothing else is going to happen is going to shake us because whatever this is it completely broke us right that's the message and we rebuilt ourselves, we're finally in a place of balance, it's a major arcana, it's not something shallow, it's not something superficial, it's like the end of the process, it's the, 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 the worst of it is healed, and it's just like building up from here, does that make sense? Something that is more solid, more stable. Um, 
in terms of people trying to come back and reconcile or make peace believing yourself in terms of you will know what their intentions are or you will know what you want to do with whatever it is they're saying or offering to you okay so dig deep into that intuition dig deep into your own uh heart you already you already know what needs to happen in the situation so just trust that intuition does that make sense but yeah we're looking at making peace that is possible we're looking at reconciling families that is possible reconciling relationships whether that means getting back together or not it's a different matter um or reconciling within ourselves forgiving ourselves for something maybe and that's something big right um and it just gives us the sense of release and healing and freedom after a very long time of suffering so you're going to have to tell me what this is for you. It's a very beautiful reading. It's a very beautiful message. So I hope it helps. Okay. Happy birthday. If your birthday is on the 24th of May, I'll be doing a birthday post um, on Instagram. But let's have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.